Hey guys, we are the Youth Cultural Ambassadors of New Taipei City. Looking behind us, here we are at Danshui Metro Station. And today, we will show you the most exciting traveling attractions, the most delicious street food, and other most exhilarating specialties. There are abundant types of street foods being sold on Danshi Old Street. Danshi has undergone unique historical conditions and has developed a variety of food styles. And now we will work to Douglas Laprig and Company. Douglas Laprig and Company is located at the end of Zhongzhen Road, formerly known as the Fenghuo Section. In the past, the water depth of Tamsui River was enough to anchor large ships, and it was close to the Han Chinese Street Market on the east side, so the industrial transportation was convenient. Later on, it became an important port area after the opening of the Tamsui trade. Moving on, we are now at the Hobei Mackay Hospital, the first western-style hospital in northern Taiwan. It is Taiwan's first hospital that was built to commemorate Mackay, a well-known figure who devoted a lot to Taiwan's early medical field development. Since Dr. Mackay preached a medical treatment here, the equipment and supplies of the hospital at that time are also exhibited, as well as the doctor's biography, crossing daily necessities, and church-related supplies. And now we are heading to Danshui Church, which is just right next to the Hobei Mackay Hospital. Speaking of it, I've never come here before. Exactly, it was built in 1933 and is a carefully designed imitation Gauzy building. The pillar head is decorated with a small half tip of the minaret, and the outer wall is made of chin-shaped bricks which were popular at that time. Hey guys, it's time for lunch. I've heard that algae is the most famous street food in Danshi. I think we can eat that for lunch. Alright, but there are three stores selling algae here in Danshui. Which of them should we buy from? Speaking of it, why does Danshi have less many stores selling agate? No idea, but every store has its own features. How about we can try every flavor from different stores, just like food samples? Sounds good. Let's do it. Okay guys, we have selected 3 types of Danshi agate in total. They are all on the journey street. They'll look delicious and I cannot wait to try all of them. We're finished now and we have to put stickers on our favorite store on this board. Everyone can choose one of the stores. Go ahead. Well, number two gets the highest vote. But I think these three are all advertising. They have their own flavors. Then let's head to our last stop, Fort San Domingo. In Fort San Domingo, you can see beautiful gardens, fracky pony in the yard, and antiques from the ancient British. It is also a popular historical site. Fort San Domingo is also known as Santo Domingo. It was built by Spanish in 1629 and was later taken over by Dutch from 1642 to 1662. After that, it has been governed by multiple countries under different dynasties, including the United Kingdom, the United States, Australia, China, and more. 
It is a historical building that has recorded many people's history. Oh, after a day traveling, I'm so exhausted now. Yes, no doubt it is tiring. Tanshui is a place near both the river and the mountain. Storyblocks Audio. Which part actually impresses you? I think food samples impresses me the most. It tastes really great. Throughout today, we went to many popular attractions. They are all exciting places to travel to. Audio. And that's the reason why we would like to share these attractions with you. As Damsui does not only have the old streets, but also abundant historical sites waiting for you to explore.